press R at the same time. Now, guys at home, remember to share your vote throughout the game. Tell us who you think is going to win this one. Tweet at LOL Esports. Send either hashtag C9Win or hashtag GVWin to at LOL Esports on Twitter. Let us know what's going on. Here we go with game two of the day. Who's going to be victorious? Both these teams sitting at one and one. Global teleport abilities. Uh, anytime they even hint at going for a move, Keen can be there. Oh, never mind. His ultimate's used mid. Ooh, right in there. The flash play's going to land. Exhaust is there, and there's First Blood. Keen picks it up with a blue card for the extra damage. First Blood on the board for Gravity. And it's Bunny's Roam that you have to worry about. Yeah, it looks like Cloud9 are trying to head things off, keep all the lanes under control as best they can. They've still got no one to head off against Haunter, who's now level 9 here. Yeah, all Haunter has to do, all Gravity have to do, is keep the game with nothing. Oh. oh gosh, Incarnation stunned up, pops the cleanse this time around, will get away as best he can from Alltech. The ult is on a summoner heal, means another gold card will likely lock it in. Big boomerang blade, move takes it away, 2-0 Gravity. Yeah. But uh, in 2 on 2s, I find the lack of tank stats actually really hurtful. For Thresh, but as it was a lane swap, they didn't get punished at all. In the late game of Here's Ancient a Coins, very good. Now Hans are getting jumped on. This is a one versus four. He hadn't bought in forever, sitting on 2,000 gold. Gets popped up, kill for balls. Cloud9 finally with one of those mid game. All right, this is uh, this so is risky. Curious, curious situation. Right. Wild cards come in for a little bit of poke. Move goes in for the steal. Gets, Gets it. it. Fight begins, Buddy Fufu low on health, knocked up by Nautilus, kill goes to balls. Incarnation stays alive so far, Keen getting just evaporated, pops the Zonia's Levination flashes out, balls oh! dies, great left by Keen. That's multiple kills picked up, two for one so far, Meteor's got nowhere to go, three for one, flash by Hauntzer. Dragon gets stolen, and it's gonna be four kills for one, Gravity crushed that fight. Wow. So. Yeah. That's getting the weird there. thing, though, is, is you're saying, you know, they don't want to take any risk with the skill and composition, but waiting till 50 minutes to win a game is exactly the kind of risk you don't want to take. And I'm not saying it's going to take them 20 minutes, but uh, they're certainly giving a little bit more time for balls to grow. Hans are now being left alone on an island in the top lane. He's going to get found out here. Mid will pop, and they're going to go to push down mid. Hanser will die, but so will the mid inhibitor, most likely. He's trying to run away. It's a very tanky tree, but finally falls in the forest. Someone's around it here. An incarnation away from their mid, but the turret's still going to drop. Keen takes some damage, but here comes the fight for the inhib. No, they back out. Yeah, they need to leave four versus five. Uh, definitely don't want to give away any more kills to Cloud9. Cloud9 Thirty nine seconds. On chase. Nah. Silver ultimate works both ways. Yeah. Yeah. Good attempt by C9. I think the right choice to go in for that fight. But smart enough, I grab it to be out of range of all the engage tools. Okay, you need to watch the death timer now. Cloud9, they only have 15 seconds to burn this dragon down. Uh, basically, all of gravity right now are just waiting for Hanzo to come back up as well. How will Cloud9 exit this area? Sneaky's really low on mana. They if gravity can right. keep him balled up here, buy time for the teleport. It's a home guarded Maokai. Now, is there anything to TP2? Yeah, he's going to TP2 the tunnel entrance. Move gets stunned, though. They're trying to chase him down, and they catch Vaz on the backside. Rise has nowhere to go. Dies to Altec. They trade one for one. Keen is on the run, but Lemonation going to die first. The Flash gets followed by Hanser. It's a two for one off the Dragon. And there's time now for Gravity to push. Cloud9 trying to play that vision game right now as they head over into the uh, Northwestern River. A couple of wards down into the jungle. But with the mid inhibitor dead, of course, they've got to. Re Ooh, almost gets the steal. Smite forced to be used. And here comes the engage from Hauntzer. TP in from Balls to the backside. And the kite back by Sneaky is good. But Lemonation going to drop down way too quickly. And Keen's going to find Balls with a gold card. Double kill for Hauntzer's Maokai. And now Mead is in the front line. going to be the third casualty picked up there as Ooh. well by the TF. Sneaky's going to drop. That's four kills in this fight. Alltech on the move. Looking for kill number three. Once Incarnation gets stunned with the gravity field. But now an open mid lane and 30 second Going respawn to timers. Game. Don't need Baron. They're looking for the next. Heading down towards the bottom side of the river. Cloud9 are going to go for ward control here. And they will start the Baron. There's he no has teleport ulti. on Maokai. So He's got home grab. He's got to walk. This is going to be a Baron rush. Ulti pop. Here comes Destiny. Balls gets hooked again. These guys are staying on Baron. Now they turn back towards move. Sneaky has nowhere to go. Altec takes him out. Keen gets focused, but that man has a Zonia's Hourglass. Wasted damage. Balls goes down to Altec. Now the push on towards Medios and Lemon. At the same time, a triple kill for the new AD carry. Goes for Lemon. Keen takes the fourth. And yet again, Incarnation, the last man limping out. And yet again, Gravity goes towards mid. Yeah, every time Cloud9 has tried to start a neutral objective, 
They paid for it. This one was obviously a desperation because they were so far behind. Not oh, cool, man. Incarnation gets one for himself. All right, two, three, and three. KDA over one, but Hanks is going to have an easy time walking away from this turret. Not a problem at all. There's no turrets defending the Nexus. That's going to be GG. Gravity in 35 minutes knocks down Cloud9. Improves to two and one. All right, definite improvements for Gravity uh, after week one. Some yeah. good cross map play for the opening of the game. They got themselves such a substantial lead from the lane swap.